Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and the administrator of Doodly and Tony PNGs. I'm going to start off with Affinity Photo, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a, um, a couple of different photographs so I don't need the um, project area. So I'm going to File and then Open from there and uh, navigate to the actual photos that I need, um, if it'll let me, which sometimes it pauses a bit and you have to wait for it to do what it's got to do um, anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two different types of photos one which has got more or less the same colour background and another one which has got um, different coloured backgrounds so it's harder to do right so we're going to show you the first one which is the single colour more or less anyway there's a bit of shading so I might have to do it a couple of times and there it is, right, as you can see, most of the colours blue. Uh, so what we need to do is go to the Erase tool and click on the triangle at the bottom there, as you can see. And then we go to the Flood Erase tool and click off that and most of it will go. And maybe click another couple of times and it should be alright, that's it. Right now, uh, that's come off, there's just bits of stuff there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, flood erase tool to the ordinary erase tool and change the size of it so it's a bit larger. So we can see to uh, cut some of that out. That's on the screen. There you go, like that. I might um, zoom into it in a minute after this. Just so I can get the bits that are too close to the actual image I want to keep. So as we can clean it up a bit better in a minute just after I've done these bits that I can see anyway right just wait for that there's a bit there as well right that looks ok that doesn't look too bad right now we're just going to zoom in and have a look see if we can do that if it'll let me play me up a bit OK, right, as you can see there's bits there look that I need to get rid of. So I'm just going to change the size down of the actual erase tool so that I don't catch too much in one go. There you go, see so that's better. I think that was about 5 or 10 or something like that I'll put it on. Right, so we'll just do all that. Just takes a bit of time but you know, it's going to have um, how much you want it to look right, you know, I mean, if, you, if you've got to be absolutely perfect, you pull it into as much as you can on the zoom, like I've done it 800%, you know, which is as much as you can do, really. So, and you, you just go around the edges, and if you feel that the part isn't right, just cut it out, you know what I mean, simple as that, really. That's what I'm doing, anyway. But, uh, as you can see, some of it might be shadow and that, but it doesn't matter because um, we don't need it for what we're going to use it for, so that's the thing. Right, so you want to put shadow on yourself afterwards, you can as well, so it doesn't matter, really. As long as you get it to look neater, you know, than it is at the moment. That's the main thing you want. Right, so that's, that's pretty good now. That's not too bad there. It needs a bit, just a bit more chopping off in there, right, and all that way around there, top of his legs, and down, yeah, right, you're going to miss some parts, you, you can't catch everything, but you can try your best anyway, can you, right, so, and we're going to carry on around here and have a look around, I don't understand why they are these black line on it not uh, that much you don't need it that much it's supposed to be shadow I suppose don't need it right doesn't matter if you cut in a little bit as long as you don't don't take the main shape of it really so that's what we're doing right, we're just going to carry on around there let's see if we can uh, go back on that because I'll, I'll cut a piece off the, the shoe there that I don't want to cut so that's what I did reverse that up 
if you've got a problem like that always uh, remember to go back on to edit and uh, undo and it'll uh, undo it for you and you can redo that little bit because it doesn't undo everything it just undoes the last few steps that you might have done so unless you do a loud in one go and then try and do it and then sometimes it'll erase a lot but normally you'll find it'll erase about five steps back or something like that so that's not too bad is it because that means it's easy for you to deal with and cope with so that's what you need these days really right we're nearly finished now it won't be long now so um, I'm just going to just do that bit and try and get that bit there try and get up there oh that don't do anything that's it ok there's a bit there look on that sleeve and that's it now not 100% sure so I should do that take that round and there ok undo just that there and just have a look the rest of it looks alright ok and don't look too bad at all does it just trying to see if there's any bits around it that I ain't caught right so that looks pretty good just zooming back into that one part there that I just saw I'm just going to take that off there in a minute if I can ok it's alright and then all you do is you export it as a PNG and it's the bottom one which is a um, single photo and you can unlock all uh, the um, different DPI that you want if you want to change the ratio of the picture you'd have to un unlock the lock there shown ok and that's it that's all you need to do with that one so there's the picture let's have a look at it there you go that's pretty good it's not too bad at all is it really and that wasn't very long it didn't take very long at all to do that really so about 8 minutes of that from start to finish so that ain't too bad and then the other one we're going to go down to is the family so we're going to just try and do that one now this has got all leaves of different colours different colour leaves on so you, you can't use the flood erase tool with that what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it first so I use the crop tool there and I'm cropping it in a bit anyway just so that I ain't got so much to deal with basically cut it down that way so that'll be alright ok so that's I just got to click on that now and when I click on it it should uh, come up without the extra that was on the outside now I've only got to clear all what's on there now so I'm going to go to the erase tool and I'm just going to start erasing as close to the things that I want to keep as possible I'm trying to go over if I can help it but I mean you can't be 100% but you can try your best uh, and I'm just doing that as an, uh, an outline so I don't have too much to deal with after so what I, I'm just doing the outline there so that I can do um, a, a new raise with a, a larger size uh, tool in a moment so I can get most of it off without too much trouble and have a little bit of a space between um, the picture and what I don't want basically so that gives me a little bit bit of a border edge and a bit of safety zone really so if you do that you know you've got more chance of not going over the picture and rubbing off the picture off so you know, I mean you could have made it a bit bigger border really around the actual picture that I'm trying to save but uh, I'm, I'm pretty good at this now so I don't need it that big really but it's practice isn't it you know so that's it really uh, just go down here and do that bit around there and down there that should be enough get rid of all the outside of that and then 
we can do some uh, zooming in after to uh, tidy up the the clousy spots to the picture that we're trying to keep right so what we're doing now is just get getting this off with the biggest one we can that's reasonably sized for what we're doing right so I'll have to get some of these pieces off after obviously because you can't get all of it do that so I'm just trying to get the mouse off so it's not too hard then and not too long right so that's done Right now, steady the side. Okay. Right. Nearly done. Not not far off with that now, really. Okay. Just to the bottom bit there. That'll be the bottom bit of the other side as well. In a moment. Get these bits. Okay, now this bit. It's a bit tight there. Okay, that's it. I think we've done it. Right. Now we've done that. We're just going to get that other piece there. Um, so I'm just going to lower that down in a second to get that bit. So that's too big down there and try that okay just get rid of that now okay I'm going to continue with removing this middle bit in between the two adult heads and once I've done that I'm going to zoom in to 800% using view zoom right and once I've done that, I will check whether the tool uh, is too big or not. And then if it's too big, I might change it down to about 5 pixels. Um, because at the moment it's, it's about 20 pixels or something like that. I can't remember where I put it on now. Right, so, yeah, it's a bit too big, so I'm going to move it down to 5 pixels. Right, that's better. Um, right, we do that middle bit there where there's a gap between the legs there. That's right, so we just get rid of that as best we can. And I've got to be dead accurate as long as it's close enough because I mean, we're only looking at a very small amount of pixels, so this should be alright. That doesn't look right there, so I'll just get rid of that. And there, right, so we'll just do that. Right, there's a bit there, let's get rid of that. I might get rid of that after. Um, I'll get rid of that, that doesn't look right there, somehow. Okay, let's carry on the, the left side and straighten that up a bit. That's it. And do his knuckle and come down from the sleeve, I think, from that bit. And there's a bit there, look, see. Yeah, right, that looks better. Right, uh, some more on the side of the sleeve as well, so we'll get rid of that. And don't get, don't forget to get rid of the remnants as well if you can. You know any bits that are hanging on, because if you don't do it while you got it on uh, 800 percent zoom, you might not see it when you when you go back out. So. Yeah, you might not see it properly anyway. So, right, it's, we're nearly done with that side. So hopefully, be all right in a minute. We very very soon will be finished anyway. Uh, as you can see, I'm using a mouse. By the way, my movements are. Um, I'm not using a pen tool to do this, which is. Uh, the pen tool should be better, really, because it's uh, using a, a, a nib on the end of the pen. Whereas with the mouse, you have to do it. You have to control the movements quite a lot, and it's so easy to do it with the mouse, to be honest. So, 
but uh, I'm doing my best with it anyway. That's not too bad, is it, really, considering? Um, right, so let's go on, go over his hair. There's a bit around there and at the top as well. So I'll just try and get rid of some of that. That's integrated into his hair a bit there. You can't really do a lot with that except for cut it off, really. So he's had an haircut. Been 10 quid, please. <laughs> right. Um, okay, he's got it down his face and a bit off that beard there where at the bottom where I can trim that a little bit there. Does that look too bad? Right, um now we're gonna go along his sleeve and try and do that. This is gonna be awkward so all you can do is your best. You might cut some of the sleeve off but it ain't gonna matter because it'll follow the flow really so it, it won't hurt. It doesn't matter really. And it looks reasonable when you put it uh, to the normal size. Now I'll go up there and cut the edge of that. Oops. Let's do that bit. Okay. And there around the side of her head there. And I don't like the way he's got his hand there because it looks a bit weird. So I'll just uh, take that off. Yeah, so just do that and then pull that over the little boy's head right just cut that bit there a bit better and that bit okay that's not too bad right we're not long away from it now we're nearly finished so um i'm just gonna put it back on um, zoom to fit in a minute just to uh, check it out see how it looks from a distance because sometimes you can see something at a distance you can't see close up um, so we'll have a look at that in a minute and see what we can do I mean I can't get around much better than that really might just need to have a go back at that again in a minute we'll see right um, I'm just going to cut that bit off there because I'm not sure of all of that but I need to leave a bit on for a, a foot or something there and I'm going to even that up a bit there right now we're going to have a look see if there's some more I think there's some more in them does somewhere I can remember seeing some um, oh yeah there's two pieces there look right, that bit there and the other bit the other side of his leg which I'm going to sort out in a moment That's it. Around there, down, back up, right uh, Oh, right. Nearly done. Well, right, I'm just going to zoom back to fit if I can. There you go. I've missed a few bits there. Look, you can see some. Oh, and I forgot the end. I was going to revisit the hand and I forgot the mod. Okay, let's go over to the hand then and try and make that a bit better than it was. Just a little bit more. Come on. Yeah. Right, that's a bit better. Let's get in there a bit. It's a bit awkward with any triangular pieces or anything, you know. The cloud spots are a bit awkward. Right. Okay. That don't look too bad, I don't think. So we'll just look at that. That, that don't look too bad at all, really. Um, okay, we'll try saving that by clicking select all in a moment. Uh, let's go to select all and export document only there you go and export right I'm, what I'm going to do I'm going to have a look at it on a normal um, viewing app in a moment and just check that it's all right if it's not I'll go back into the photo so we'll just have a look if I can pick it up oh look there's a piece there 
you couldn't see on the on the app so what I'm gonna have to do is go back into it I click it on it and open with photo oh, affinity photo that is okay we'll do that okay just waiting for it to open now and just delete that off and there's another piece on the other side as well so we'll just get the erase tool on it delete that I just noticed that other piece as well so we'll just get rid of that as well then I might just crop this down a bit so let's go into the crop tool okay so I'll crop it to from both sides in a minute and then crop it from the top as well don't need to crop it from the bottom but, uh, that's it that'll be better now click on it well it's there that's it well that's, that's much better now I'm just selecting all and save as document right and I'll show you that in a moment so, so you can see it again and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, I'll be useful to you and please like and subscribe to Tommy's music if you did enjoy it okay thanks for watching and have a good day and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you.